Hello everyone and welcome to my new video. Recently I've got my Prusa 3D printer and started building an enclosure for it. And while I was doing that I wanted to use LED strips to add some light to the enclosure. Since I only had high power LED strips they were too bright and drawing too much power. Over time they would also heat up a lot. What I ended up doing is using one of these switching regulator modules and step down the voltage from 12 volts down to 10 volts and that reduced the brightness as well how hot the LEDs would get. Now I also wanted an easy way to turn the LEDs on and off but I didn't want to use toggle or rocker switch. They can do the job but they just don't look very cool from the outside. Luckily a couple of days ago these touch sensor boards arrived in my mailbox and I figured I'll try to add some touch to my 3D printer's enclosure. Yeah sorry that was bad. But bad puns aside, I wanted to try these boards and see if I can create a nicer switch than just giving up and using a toggle or a rocker switch. Let's see how we can do this easily. We are going to use an LED strip to provide light to the enclosure. This voltage regulator is going to allow us to control how bright the LEDs are and also how hot they will run. And to turn everything on and off, we are going to use this touch sensor board as a toggle switch. First, let's take a look at the LM2596IC on this module. We can see that we have pins for voltage input, voltage output, feedback and ground. But we also have this pin number 5 that is on off pin. The bar above on means it's using inverted logic. So when this pin is pulled low, the regulator is turned on. And when this pin is pulled high, the regulator is turned off. From the datasheet, the high-low threshold is about 1.3 volts and we can see that in this module, on-off pin is soldered to ground. This means that regulator is always on. Now, because we want to use a switch to turn the output voltage on and off, we are going to have to modify this. But before jumping in and doing that, let's take a look at our touch sensor module that uses TTP223 sensor IC. From the datasheet we can see that every time someone touches this touch area, the level on the I.O. pin will change. We can also configure this I.O. pin to toggle between high and low every time the board is touched. This is exactly what we are looking for. So what we are going to do is on the LM2596 module, disconnect on off pin from the ground and connect it to I.O. pin on the touch module. Now every time the touch area on the sensor is activated, the I.O. pin will toggle between high and low and that will turn our voltage regulator on and off. The touch module still needs power and we are going to use 12 volts input voltage and with 330 ohm resistor and 3.3 volt zener, lower it to a value that won't release a magic spunk from our touch sensor IC. So now that we have everything working at least on paper, Let's put these together and give it a try. On the LM2596 module you can see these positive and negative terminals for input voltage. And on the underside we have added our 330 ohm resistor which is shown in the schematic here. And also our 3.3 zener diode which is shown on the schematic here. Where resistor and zener diode meet. That's the point where we connect the touch sensor's VCC pin. On the top side, we can see a modification to pin number 5, which is our on-off pin. And the way we disconnected it from the ground is basically by lifting it from the PCB, so it's floating in the air, and then soldering a piece of wire that goes to the touch sensor's I.O. pin. Now, only thing left to do is see if it all works as expected. We connect our LED strip and also provide power to our contraption and it turns on. That's a good sign. And if we touch the sensor, LED turns off. Touch it again and they turn back on. Beautiful. It's working just as we want it. Now I eventually plan to install this inside my 3D printer's enclosure so that is not visible from the outside but the touch sensor will still work through the surface. And just to test how this will work and look, I've designed this whole 3D printed enclosure. Our touch sensor goes into top piece, we've removed the LED so it's not glowing through the enclosure and also have shorted the B jumper on the board to make the IO pin toggle its state. 
The board sits in the enclosure really well and on the other side we can see a tiny silhouette that can help us show where the touch sensor is. And in the bottom part we have our switching regulator board sitting nice and comfy. Now that we have everything assembled we can power it up and try it out again. And we can see that it powers up again and touching the sensor works even through a 3D printed enclosure. Beautiful. Now, one thing that I'm going to change eventually are these connectors, but for now they will do. For your build, feel free to experiment. You can try a lot of different stuff, like printing your own 3D enclosure, putting everything inside a wooden enclosure, drilling an opening for a touchboard, or maybe even just wrapping everything in a heat shrink and calling it a day. That's all for today's video and I hope you liked it. If you did, hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel and maybe sharing this video with your friends. I really appreciate all of your support and if you have reached this part of the video, thank you, you're absolutely awesome. Thank you all again for watching and I will see you in the next video.